Hey guys, this is Kyle on Four Wheels uh, again, and uh, I have another, where am I going? I have another video for you guys, and it's about skilling again, but it focuses on attack, strength, defense, uh, range, and even magic, if you will. Let me empty my bank out before I take you guys there. My, a lot of people know about it in the past, or a lot of people used to know about it in the past, about this location. But it's actually, uh, it's actually west of Verac, so I'm going to teleport there for you guys. And a lot of people don't know about this now or have forgotten about it, so I'll show you guys that. And if any of you guys want this horse, uh, I think they still offer it, but it does cost actual money, so. All right. So instead of actually going in the town, it'd be better if you actually went around it because it it'd be it would be a little bit faster, faster, faster. So yeah, as you can tell by my skills, I'm not a beginner, but I'm also not a person that can give advice about a lot of stuff. But the stuff I do know, I want other people to know because I think it'll make you guys, uh, especially this. Uh, this part will help you guys, especially for non-members. This video is mostly for non-members because uh, if you are a member, there's there's tons and tons of um, uh, better spots to train for your attack, you know, skill and, and all that stuff. So, so as you can tell, it's over the river a little bit. And sorry about the lag. That's just how my computer is. And this is it has four levels. This is the first level. Uh, I'm actually gonna go. Th I'm not gonna skip it because I want to show you guys around on each level. Uh, this right here is if you don't want this level and you want to go straight to level two or level three, this is where you would go. But I'm for an example. I'm just gonna take you through the first level so you guys know how each level goes. So the first level starts out with like level sixes and stuff, which is really good to train. You know, if you're especially range at a low level, you can stand here and just keep pounding on these guys. Uh, that'll help for range for a low level range non-member. Uh, you can also go through here and train attack once you get a little bit more skill. I mean, you're talking 14 to 23. Uh, that's the levels. You can even train uh, magic or range in here too because it's got this little uh, fence here. That's what I used to do when I was a low level. I mean, I'm still a low level, but for mage specifically, I'll have to make another video on where I train for mage. But, uh, yeah, there, there is a lot of doors, and they used to actually ask you a lot of questions. Like, four or five years ago, every single door had a question you had to answer before going through it. And this jumps ahead all the way up to f level 52 Minotaurs. Uh, that's, you know, if, if you're getting better but you're still not you know to where you want to be and again like th I don't know why they put level sixes here but you know whatever if you want to be closer to level two but still fight low levels say you want to train like a you have like a low major or range level but you still want to train both so you could go here next to level two so this is just level one, guys. This is just level one. It took me about, what, two minutes to go through level one? And uh, each level, if you've never been down here, you'll want to grab these. You want to open these up here. And they'll give you uh, boots uh, at the very end. You can get rainbow boots or the, the brownish boots. So here's level two. Uh, you're looking at, uh, you know, level 11s which it's still not that bad you know but you got these bugs in here that are level 40 so this this level is from about level 30 and up to probably level 40 ish so I mean there's not it's not too bad too bad I'm not gonna walk through every single level because that would make the video so long so many doors but I will show you guys level three which is probably where most people are gonna be because it's not too intense but with these spiders it's actually really uh, training is really good because these are level 39 so if you're getting up there and your skills as far as around this area 
you know, this is a very good level to train on, especially when you're like level 50s, you know, this is a very good level. It's just you have to watch out for these guys because these guys have uh, obviously that sign right there, you know, so that bone arrow. So it's a lot of magic you got to look out for. So I don't really like fighting on this level because there's too much, uh, I go through too much food. So uh, next will be level four when I get to it. This is the lowest level, which has the highest monsters you guys can fight, obviously. But uh, it, as you notice, each level has a different theme to it. And again, this is where you need to go. There's four total. This is the third one, because it's the third level. So we are gonna make our way down to the fourth level. And as you can tell, this is meant for more experience because automatically when you go down, you know, you have level 61 shades just sitting here waiting for you. So if you're a low level, I would advise you not to come down here. And, but you do have to walk through this whole level to get to this right here, which will give you, I believe, money and shoes, but I'm not exactly sure. The other ones you get money for. And like, there's level 46 skeletons, you know, level 46 ghosts. But really, I just stay here and train on these guys. But, so yeah, that's, it's pretty much it as far as the secret location. I never see anybody down here. I mean, as you can tell this whole time, you know, you've, I've never seen anybody on the map. It's just, nobody really knows about this place. And it's really useful to non-members. So I really think you guys should uh, try this out sometime. You know, I know you guys are probably stuck on where you're usually, you know, used to train, but, you know, if you need help, you know, that's why I'm here. I'm here making videos so you guys can have a better RuneScape experience. But if you look on the map here, I mean, the little map, I don't know if you can tell this is Barbarian Village, but let me go on the world map so you guys have a better idea. See, that's Varrock right there. That's the teleportation right there. And I walked all the way through here, which actually, as I'm looking at this, it'd be better if you just teleported from Edgeville and just walked straight down. That would probably be better. But I know this way by heart. That's why I did this way. So, but Barber or the uh, Edgeville, not Barbarian Village, but Edgeville is probably be a better uh, teleportation area. Less traveling, less running, all that crap. So, uh, there you guys go. Another video from Kyle on Four Wheels. Uh, if you like my videos, subscribe, like, whatever. Do whatever makes you guys happy. Uh, dislike it if you want to. You know, I'm not going to please everybody. So, well, you guys have a good day, and I will be coming up with another video soon. See you guys later.